Hey everyone, welcome to the video. As you guys know, the nightmare of whatever that word is came out yesterday. And I normally don't do PVM, but PKing has been just so dead recently and I wanted to try something different. So because of that, I really wanted to solo it even with low stats since I'm not actually, you know, technically maxed. But it did feel very possible and all I had to do was find a free world, which was, believe it or not, quite difficult. Then I had this ingenious idea of coming to a PVP world where probably no one would be. So that's exactly what we did. We walked into the PVP world with some serious bank risk and attempted to solo the boss only a few hours after release. Now throughout the video, I'm also going to explain to you guys exactly what it is I'm doing and how I'm doing it. Sort of like a guide, but not too much in depth. That way you guys can understand exactly what is happening and also so you can learn some of these tactics so you can do them yourselves. You guys would have seen the first two special attacks she does where she chucks, you know, two minions and also does these little black hole things which you have to avoid. And this here is her third special attack where you basically just have to stay within this quarter zone and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. At this point here, I realized you can actually flinch the boss, that way it can't melee you. And it also proves to be quite useful for avoiding those, um, you know, black hole things. Keeping my character moving the whole time does help timing it. Okay, that's the first part of phase one completed. You'll now see that these four pillars around the map will have health. And basically all I have to do is walk up to them and start shooting at them with my um with my staff. You can melee them as well, but by doing it with the Sang staff, you can actually get lucky and proc a healing effect. And for whatever reason, the staff can actually do quite a lot of damage as well, hitting up to 60s and 70s. That's now the end of phase one, and now we're going on to phase two. Now at the start of the second and third phases, a sleepwalker will spawn. Now you have to kill him before he gets to the boss, otherwise the nightmare's next attack will one-shot you. Like you can eat up to 115 health, but it won't matter. He will one-shot you. We're now a little bit into phase two and the nightmare pops one of her special attacks. Now this special attack is basically this bug that attaches to you and you have to drink a sand few potion afterwards. Soon as the parasite gets out of your body, it's going to start healing the nightmare. And the way you deal with this is basically kill the parasite as soon as you possibly can. Now I use my SGS on it to get a little bit of health back at the same time since it is such a low defense. Now the next special attack the nightmare will pull off is this prayer switching one. In my opinion, this is probably the most difficult special attack that you have to deal with from the nightmare. So basically what happens, if you want to protect mage, you have to click your melee prey. And if you want to protect melee, you have to click your range prey. And if you want to protect range, you have to click your mage prey. Now, fortunately, because of the Parasite's healing, phase two is going to take a while. So that means incorporating tactics like prayer flicking, Ellie flicking, um, you know, SGS utilization. It might feel very repetitive, but the key here is just do not make any mistakes. Try to be as efficient as possible, but just don't overthink it. Like sometimes simplicity is best.
Now this part of phase two is the hardest part of the boss by far, in my opinion. Basically the same thing that you've been doing the entire time. So what I do is I chuck on my Ellie, my staff, and I just start, you know, melting down the towers and just chill. It's also important to note that the healers will heal the towers if you keep them alive. So just like before, kill them as fast as you possibly can. And that's phase two finished. And honestly, that's the hardest part done. Now, at this point, I'm looking at my supplies. I've noticed that I'm very high on brews, which is really, really good, but I'm sort of low on um, super restores or sand fuse. But lucky for me, phase three isn't very difficult at all. The first phase three special attack that the nightmare does is this mushroom thing. Basically just pops a whole bunch of mushrooms everywhere. And if they explode while they're near you, they just turn off your run for like, I don't know, five or six seconds or whatever it is. And then the second special attack is also pretty harmless. She disappears for a second, then she sets herself up and literally whooshes across the whole map. Now, if you're in front of her when she does this whoosh attack, you're gonna be hit somewhere between a 45 to a 60. But luckily you have a few seconds to move out of the way. So just make sure you don't get hit by those mushrooms. So then you're not, you know, stuck having to walk. That way when she does her whoosh attack, you can just, you know, run out of the way and easy peasy. Now I'm gonna play the rest of the fight in 1.5 times speed without any pauses or breaks or cuts. That way you guys can clearly see exactly what I'm doing, how I'm doing it, the mistakes I make, how I fix my mistakes and, um, yeah, you guys see what I'm saying. And then we'll talk to you guys at the end of the video. So um, yeah, enjoy.
Well, that was surprisingly easy. Nice. Dude, a PK just logged into here. Holy crap. <laughs> that scared the crap out of me. But yeah, dude, that was heaps of fun. Let's do it again. What are you waiting for? Do it! Yes, I'm real.